if you can just give us your daily routine on match day in say a three day tournament how does it start okay the the average day usually starts pretty early with um, players getting up for monitoring so we'll check their hydration check their body weight um, and they'll head off for breakfast and uh, invariably they'll come back up and we'll look to strap them uh, we usually strap at the team hotel um, sometimes a little bit cramped so is it in a specific room or is it in your hotel room or yeah, it's in a it's in a in, usually in our uh, bedroom so we make sure, put a makeshift clinic together push the beds aside put the um put the plinth up and that's where we'll stretch um that's where we'll strap it's usually a little bit cramped but uh you know you, you make do is it the usual suspects that come in um some people are more regular than others um you know we do have some players who do you know require a fair bit of attention um, you know there are there are others who are pretty durable and we don't see a great deal of them but uh, no usually you know most of the squad will use the services over the period of the season so the boys that you strap first thing is that to prevent further injury or what's the point of it generally the strapping is is a prophylactic measure you know that it's a routine for a lot of players they'll have their ankles strapped or their or their, their wrist strapped you know, routinely. Some players may be carrying small injuries that, that you look to try and stabilise the joint, um, just give them that little bit of support. So what's the story behind this uh, colourful tape that all the players are wearing? Is it a, um, a fad or what? Um, Kinesia tape has obviously become um, more mainstream, particularly after its you know exposure during the Olympics. Um, I wouldn't call it a fad, but I would say that Perhaps as there is a strong placebo effect and, and players do tend to like having that, that, that strapping. It does seem to give them a little bit of um, a psychological edge maybe. Um, it is popular amongst the players and you, you know I, I do think it does give them some benefits, yes. So you do all this strapping, I'm assuming you didn't get on the bus, go to training or, or the ground. What, what do you do then? Um, generally, um, you know, the players will seek some treatment uh, pr prior to matches. You know, whether it's soft tissue work, joint mobilisation, generally anything that the players need prior to matches, we'll, we'll try and provide it to make sure they're right uh, going onto the field. Sevens is obviously a fast-paced game. Do you notice specific injuries that are quite prevalent in sevens? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the studies show that um, the main injuries in, in sevens are hamstring injuries. I think that's due to the fact there's quite a high volume of running, high speed, uh, quite high levels of fatigue. And so we do see um, quite a high percentage of hamstring injuries. What we also see is a uh, high percentage of uh, ankle and knee ligament injuries with the, the high speed of the game, cutting, twisting, manoeuvres. Um, ankle ligaments and knee, li knee ligaments are quite vulnerable to injury. After the day is finished, you come back, what do you do then? Generally, it's all about recovery. Most of the tournaments are played over two or three days. Um, and the evening after the tournament, it, it's all about regeneration and recovery for the players. So generally we'll screen to see if there's any minor injuries. Um, if the players are fine, it's about, again, soft tissue work, um, recovery methods. So they wear their skins, they'll have uh, compression garments on, you know, ice, ice baths, those sorts of things, um, ready for the next day of competition. I think the part of the job I enjoy the most is working with developing players. We Although it's a performance unit, uh, the sevens, we do have a lot of players coming into the unit who are fairly raw uh, and, and use the, the system for development. Thinking of players like uh, Alex Weber, who came in at the start of this season, really raw from you know Astrid Ronda Rugby Club, um, working alongside myself and Wayne Proctor, you know, just working on developing them in terms of um, physical development, their professional attitudes. Um, and you know you, you really see a development of those type of players throughout a season. I think it's that that's the role that you know you enjoy the most.